Happy Monday. Welcome into Titans today. I'm Abby Alonzo. And as it goes, the rumor mill continues to heat up. We've got quite the show for you today. Lots of rumors going on. Some new ones, some old ones coming back. But before we get into it, y'all, we had somebody comment on a video 35 times just a few months ago. And look, I'm looking for somebody to break that record. If you can comment Titans in the comment section more than 35 times. Whoever comments the most will get a shout out on our next Titans Today video. Get after it. Head down to the comment section and let me know what's up. Okay, so this tweet came out uh, at the end of last week over the weekend, kind of broke. This is a California San Francisco radio broadcaster coming out with this one. Larry says, based on what he's heard from Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch, York, I expect Trey Lance will be traded during the NFL 2023 draft. My guess is he'll be dealt to the Titans for Malik Willis and a pick swap that gives the 49ers a day one to two pick as well. Well, this is the first I'm hearing of this, and a, a lot of you as well. What on earth? We heard the Trey Lance rumors months and months ago when Brady was going to end his career in the Bay and this, that, and the other, but it kind of fell off after Trey Lance came out and said, it's, it's not happening. You know, he put up the, the cross fingers on his Instagram story when whenever Rand Carthen was hired by the Titans, but it kind of came to a close when both parties were like, look, that's not going to happen. Tom Brady retired. All the pieces kind of just fell off. The puzzle wasn't going to happen. Well, now it's back. Now we're talking about Trey Lance back to Tennessee. And could it happen? Well, you do have that Rand Carthen connection. You know, he was part of the front office that went and got Trey Lance. They seem to have a good relationship there. You know, you've seen Carthen bring in a couple of his former guys in Daniel Brunskill, Aziz Alshire, Arden Key. So who's to say he doesn't bring in Trey Lance as well? And what is, what is Trey Lance doing on that roster? Because Brock Purdy pretty much got the nod. If he can become healthy, he's he's going to be the leader of that locker room, as John Lynch said. They just grabbed Sam Darnold. This, this kind of makes Trey Lance a little bit expendable. What is he doing on that roster? Why is he still there? What are they going to do with him? And this kind of trade obviously would not be for the 49ers to benefit from getting Malik Willis. Look, we like Malik Willis. He just didn't prove himself this past year. I don't think the 49ers are really – interested in that trade if if any of this is even real y'all but take it with a grain of salt if this is the case I don't think they're doing this trade for Malik Willis yeah maybe you're adding depth to the roster but I think it's more about that day one day two pick that they could get out of a trade like this but if this does happen there are concerns with Trey Lance and we've talked about it obviously if he's expendable for the 49ers as a team who could acquire him in a trade You've got to look at things like injuries, especially if you're the Tennessee Titans. We know uh, the history behind injuries in Tennessee. They're a concern. Okay, he's played, he's started 21 times since 2019. He's played one singular game since 2020. He's got four NFL starts. You're talking about going from somebody, Ryan Tannehill, who is a vet, maybe pretty mid, you know, hasn't done anything too exceptional recently, but you're going from a vet to somebody who's played four or had started four times. That's a big transition. And if you're worried about Malik Willis coming in because he doesn't have enough experience, you're going to have the same problem with Trey Lance. Okay. These are two uh, projects, to be completely honest. They're project quarterbacks. They need some work. Is it really worth going out to get Trey Lance, especially his accuracy, the mechanics remain in question. Like, there's just too many question marks, I think, when you're bringing in a new GM and you're trying to look for your next franchise quarterback. This is a risky route to go if you're talking about trading for Trey Lance. Should they trade for Trey Lance, though? What do you think? Am I off base here? Do you think Trey Lance could be the future of the Tennessee Titans? Let me know down in the comment section if you think they should. Type T for trade. If you think absolutely not, type P for pass. That's not the only rumor we've got for you or or the rumor going around quarterbacks today at all. But before we do, let me just talk about why I think this Trey Lance trade would be a little bit silly. Like I just said, it's it, 
you're trading Malik Willis, which again, the 49ers wouldn't really get much out of that other than that day one, day two trade for another project quarterback. There are a lot of rumors going around, as I just hinted, that sound silly. And that is the word that I want to use. It just, it doesn't make sense. It, why would you do this kind of thing? It, if you are going to try to retool an offense or a team, as Rand Carthen has said, he's not rebuilding, he's retooling. I don't think you bring in a tool that has concerns. I think you go after somebody who might cost a little bit more, who might be a little bit more of a risk when it comes to picks in the draft or money. I don't think you bring in somebody who's got concerns uh, injury-wise. Now, I just teased that there are more quarterback rumors going around, and I'm going to get right to them. After I tell you about Fanatics, they have just released the Titans hats, the draft hats. They're kind of fire. They've got other hats, too, y'all. I, I'll say it again. I've said it so many times. I'm a big baseball hat girl. My hair is a mess today. I didn't even brush it. Sorry about it. Should have thrown on a baseball cap. If I had a Titans baseball cap, it would be on my head. But good news is you can head to chatsports.com slash Titans draft hats and get you some fire gear. Go do it. Do it for me. I wish I had one to put on today. Okay. Like I said, more quarterback rumors because we just can't get away from them, apparently. Daniel Jeremiah from NFL.com uh, said on his podcast, kind of hinted at the Titans maybe being involved in these quarterback rumors. Can I give you the team that I have been told to keep an eye on that's exploring this and looking into this? Again, this is just people around the league who said, do not sleep on numero 11, the Tennessee Titans. So word uh, around the rumor mill within the NFL insiders is that the Titans are sneakily going after this number three pick from the Cardinals. So let's say they trade with Arizona for that number three overall pick to grab a quarterback like C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, if they're still on the board. You still got Anthony Richardson, Will Levis. Um, another reason this actually could happen, or let's play the game of who's connected to who and why we might think this could possibly happen. Uh, the new Arizona Cardinals GM was Tennessee's director of player personnel for three years. So there you go. You've got another connection in that front office, and we've seen how those connections kind of play a part in who ends up on the roster. Like I said earlier, Rand Carthen brought in three guys that were on his uh, 49ers roster before he ended up with the Tennessee Titans. Now, a move like this, moving up in the draft to that number three overall, would be a pretty – it would cost a pretty penny. Okay, would likely cost Tennessee a third round pick this year and a first rounder in 2024. That's risky because you have a broken down roster right now. Quarterback is not your only concern. It's not like you have a huge, beautiful roster that just needs somebody to throw the ball. That's not it. You got a lot of things to fix on this roster. So if you're going to give up these picks, you better have a backup plan on how you're going to fix those issues if you're going to give up draft picks. Could it happen? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rand Carthen did just go to those pro days and he came out and said, look, we're doing our due diligence. There's other players on these teams that we're looking at, but you can't help but look at the shiny quarterbacks that are throwing and, and showing off at these pro days. You, Anthony Richardson, I know that rumor came out last week that Maybe the Titans should grab him. He may still be on the board at three. He probably still will be on the board at three. I can't say the same for C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young, but if the Titans are serious about trading up, they did just look at all the prospects, uh, the quarterback prospects in this draft. And then, of course, if you do grab a rookie quarterback this year, you've got Ryan Tannehill for one more year. He can kind of be that bridge quarterback for this rookie coming in to kind of learn from. And stop before y'all get... Ahead of yourselves, I've heard you say, why would he want to learn from Ryan Tannehill? Tannehill has the experience. He's a vet. He's led this team. He can, in fact, teach a rookie quarterback coming in how to lead a team, you know, the ins and the outs of the league, that kind of thing. So, yes, having Ryan Tannehill under contract for one more year, if they don't cut him post-June 1st, we have no clue what's going to happen at this point. Mike Vrabel said he doesn't even know who's going to be on the roster in September, so we're riding with what we've got now. If Ryan Tannehill remains a Titan, as Rand Carthen said, 
then maybe he's a good bridge quarterback to teach a rookie coming in to kind of develop him and allow that rookie to get acclimated and maybe take on the starting role in 2024. I think uh, it could be a good move. I don't think Malik Willis is your guy. I don't. Um, again, if you ride with Ryan Tannehill, you still have those future questions. You can maybe wait on the 2024 draft and try to grab somebody like Caleb Williams, but that's banking on a, a lot on how the Titans do this year and where they'll end up in that draft. There's just a lot of question marks, and I think this is an opportunity to make a big splash that we have not seen yet. They've been a, li a little quiet in free agency. They haven't done anything super huge to completely flip everything around and change the way that this franchise is going. So maybe this is the big splash we've been waiting for Rand Carthen to come in and make. Maybe he's being sneaky and he's saying, all right, I'm doing it. We're trading up. We're going to get a quarterback. If they do that, who should they grab? You got you got four guys right in that first round that I think will go in the first round. Uh, but who's it going to be? If they do trade up for this number three overall, who would they grab? Type BY for Bryce Young. Type AR for Anthony Richardson, type CJ for CJ Stroud, and type WL for Will Levis. Let me know which quarterback you think the Titans should grab if they do trade up for that number three pick overall. Like I said, y'all, quarterback rumors are wild. Obviously, this can't all happen. They won't do all of this. These are just rumors, but... We're keeping you updated. This is my job to make sure that you know everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, and the crazy. So make sure you hit that sub button. Stay in touch with everything going on around the Titans during the offseason, and we'll catch you all soon.